Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 9 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. And as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe for more videos. It's been a while, I've been away on a uh, quick 4th of July vacation, so I'm really excited to get back to the series. So we're just taking a look here at our oil sand rail line that we put in. I went in and replaced these uh, bridges with these black bridges. I think they look really good um, here in the wood line. So I'm really excited to get back into this series. And uh, I think to start, there are there are a bunch of uh, comments that I've been getting um, that I, I kind of want to address. But really quickly, before I do that, I actually noticed that there's a bit of a hill here in this rail line. Yeah, that's actually going up quite a bit. So I might just try and do a quick... If I break that off of there... I'm just gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna take this whole bridge out that I just uh, finished decorating. And I'm gonna see if we can... Uh, fix it up a little bit, just the slope. And then we're just gonna have to come back in here with some of this... Clean this back up. Come in here with the grass. And then I'm actually going to come in here and just smooth this terrain out. There we go. And I think that I think that will help on that hill. That was quite steep there. So I just wanted to go ahead and fix that. And then I'm going to come in here and just clean this up a little bit. Oh, not with grass. With ballast. Clean up this end of the bridge just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I just wanted to uh, talk about a couple things. So, one thing is I've been getting comments on uh, line rates and the capacity on some of the lines and how we needed to do something about that. So, I went through uh, very briefly, you know, off camera, and I actually I switched all of these uh, vehicles over to the new steam trucks. And in doing so, I went into some of these lines and added in a ton of vehicles just to up the capacity on virtually all of these lines, at least all of the ones that involve, uh, you know, trucks now, steam trucks. So that should help. Um, and then one thing that I also did, if we come back to our oil sand, is I actually added in another siding so that we can get another train on there. So why don't we wait for this train to get down here? And then I'm going to add another train on. And then why don't we actually go into these? And I want to I want to take a look and see. I want to bring them up to max length. So we have 240 meter platforms. So we'll bring those up to max length. And then I honestly might get the 10 wheeler on there. They go 62 miles an hour. Is there any point? No, these only go 31. So I don't really see the point, but we could go with a Mogul. Although it's really not that much more powerful than the Baldwin, so I think we'll stick with that. But now we need to add five more cars onto our sidings here. So if we come down here, we need to add five more onto each of these. That's three. That's five. There we go, that's five. Um, and interestingly enough, this guy just got stopped here. Oh, and that's because there's nowhere to change. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a mistake there. I need to, I need to put in, uh, I need to put in loops for them to pass. So let's put this one in. Might bring this one all the way around to this fill right here. So I'll put that to there and then right after this fill, I'll have them branch off. And that will go in there. And now we're gonna need one-way signals in. So I'm gonna put them there. And then if we come down here, I'll put them in there. 
So if we look at the line, so that's a that's a good loop right there. And then I'll probably put one in right here, right up to this bridge. And truthfully, I might just carry this one all the way to the bridge. So why don't I get rid of those signals here? And I'm just gonna carry this track all the way down here to this bridge. So right before the bridge, we'll add that in. And now we'll put our signals in here and here. You can tell that it's been a little while since I've played. So now we should be able to let this run. And I wonder why... I wonder why this guy's not going. Is it because this guy's already on the other side of the track? Yes, it is. Alright, so why don't we flip him around so that he's going the right way. And then once this guy gets going, once we know that he's clear, so he should be clear now. So now I'm going to flip this guy around now and send him back. So he should go this way, and then this guy should keep going. In theory. Yeah. Okay. Massive cut through here. Um, I could put a passing loop in there. I really don't, truthfully, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of how this cut turned out, so I'm going to just blow it up by putting a passing loop in here, running down to this, uh, this next bridge. Like that. And I think that's just long enough to be able to fit the whole train in there. It is. And then why don't we continue this down. So right after this bridge. All right, something just got messed up. So we're gonna have to check to see what it was. And now that will merge in Gonna back that out just a little bit, just so that we get a bit more speed on that merge. And I'll bring that in right there. And now we'll need signals there. Signals there. All right, so what's the issue here? This train. What is the problem? No path. Oh, because it's too long. How long are these trains? Oh, that one had a, that one has an extra. They're still too long. 239 meters. These are 240 meter platforms. At least I thought they were. 240. Let's check. Yeah, that's 240 meter platform. So what's the issue? I am confused. I am genuinely confused as to what's going on here. This train. Yes, I know. All right, go back to the depot. Unable to find a path. Huh, very interesting. All right, I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> The <laughs> most expensive thing. But that's this is 239 meters, so that should work. That should that shouldn't be an issue. Um I don't know, let's see. But anyway, alright, so we just improved the capacity on this whole line. So I think that that will definitely help. And we've got some passing loops in there to allow these trains to pass one another at various points. Um, so this should work and it'll throw us an update if it, if it breaks again. Um, but I've just been getting a lot of stuff on the channel. Uh, people wanting me to, you know, improve the, the rates on the lines. So I'm just trying to do that. So if we come over here, this ferry, I mean, we got four people there that want to take it. Three are taking it on the way back. I just, 
We'll leave it be. I didn't decorate these just because I'm not sure how well these are going to work. Um, so we'll just see. We'll just see how this works. If anybody has tips on passenger ferries, getting passenger um, ships to work a little bit better, I would love I would love to know. Like, do I need to just put more ships on here to improve the frequency? Is it too far? Like, is the trip too far? Um, whatever you guys think, let me know. But then there were there were some other great comments on here that I wanted to address. So Craig Lawrence made a comment a couple videos ago. Yeah, okay, so now we have an issue again. So let's see. Yeah, it's just, it's one car too long. That doesn't make any sense. Because it's a 239, I guess it's... Maybe 239 is just too close. So let's take off, we'll take off one of those each. And now I guess they work, so let's take off one of those cars on the siding each and hopefully that'll work now. So let's just make sure these have the same capacity. So that's uh, 117, 147, and that's 147. Yeah, so they're the same length. All right, so that should work. But anyway, uh, Craig Lawrence, back to his comments. So he made some great comments um, about one is running trams in both directions. So like if we come back here to Dudley, we have a tram network running through here. Let's see, what did we get? Oh, we got a ton of new stuff. This is great. All right, let's... All right. Let's handle these uh, these trams first. Because we've got trams, and they're only running in one direction. So I really like his idea of running them in the opposite direction, which actually means that I need to put bus stops on the other side of the street. So we're going to have these trams run counter to one another as well as so that they're essentially going to run in both directions here so we'll have them come up here and then we'll have them come here and this is going to be let's see this is going to be i'm going to copy this and i'm going to put that here and now this let's see if we if we reorient ourselves like if we say that this is the orientation, then this blue line, I guess you could say is running counterclockwise. So we'll do CCW for counterclockwise, and then this one will be the clockwise. And I actually kind of like that blue. Um, and then this is going to be trams. So we need to get some trams on here. So how many do we have on here? We have four. So I'll go ahead and get four. Maybe I'll get three running in both directions. So if I put those on there and then I sell one of these. So now we've got trams that are gonna run in both directions. Not sure why they're doing that at Windsor Street. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's just make sure that they're not doing anything else weird. They're not. Cool. So now we've got trams running in both directions, and I think that that's really cool. So why don't we uh, why don't we come in here and do the same thing down here? So we'll want to put another stop in here, and another stop in here, and now we'll want a new line running this way and what's a good contrast to green maybe red no there's already a red because that's going up to uh that's going up to ashby so why don't we put in like this teal color and now this is the retford tram to train so i'm going to copy this i'm going to put it in here and now this blue one is running clockwise and this green one is running counterclockwise. And we're gonna need to get some trams on here. So how many trams do we have? We have three running there. So I'll get three running in the other direction. And now we should have trams 
running in both directions. And I, I really like that. I think that that's going to it's going to work really well and it's it's pretty realistic honestly. You you often have lines that run counter to one another. Um, another suggestion that Craig had which I really like actually is we're going to turn this rail station into somewhat of a hub to then go over to uh, Ashby. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to come into this station and I'm going to double up gonna double this up and then I'm going to back this out and I'm just gonna connect this up so we'll back this out as well and then we'll just connect that right in there and we'll need to put this signal back and I, I might bring these signals right up to the road get rid of that one And now if we come onto this line, when they hit Retford again, hit it at the other side of the station. And now when we let this run, that looks really good. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this road out. I'm gonna pause real huh? quick because we're gonna add another stop here to run over to Ashby. And now this is probably going to get tunneled just because if we look at the terrain I could run it out this way actually and then bring it down the coast that actually might be a better way to do it I'm just worried about this road connection it might be I don't know if it's going to let me make another crossing there because otherwise we could kind of come up and over this hill it's not that big of a hill to get up and over, but I'm just worried that, that that slope is pretty extreme. So I might run it out this way. I might do a really sh sharp curve. Let's see if it'll let me put a... Uh... It will. Let's see if we can get maybe about 50 miles an hour on that curve. And then we'll just run right down the coast. So now we're going to need to put a rail station in here at Ashby. And the question is, I don't really think it's going to continue. I mean, maybe it will go over to Verwood. Maybe. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty plausible that it would continue over to Verwood. So the question is, where would we put in a pass-through station that's 240, mi 240 miles, 240 meters? Excuse me, we could probably put one in right here. So like if I delete all of this road out, delete that out, delete that house. I could put this in right here. And then I'm going to delete this road out just so that we can get our track through here. So if we put that track there, when we come back and lay our road, I really want to try and cross at roughly a 90. And now we need to go ahead and add this road back in. And we'll connect that road in there. And now we can let this run again. So now we're going to need to kind of snake down here. Right in front of this building. And then we need to connect in there. Let's see, I really don't want to do a bridge if we can avoid it. I don't think that that's a very reasonable place for a bridge. See, we could drop to 60 miles an hour there. Let's 
And let's just see if I kind of flatten out a bit of terrain here just to get that to curve back around. Let me see if I can put this in first. If I put like a little straight line here just to kind of give me a point that I can curve around. And then we'll connect in there. And then I'll go ahead and delete this piece out. And then I should be able to connect those. And now I'll just come back in and just smooth all this terrain back out. And I'm gonna need to, you know, do some do some work there to make that work. Um, that's actually really low. So let me see if I can make a bit better of a connection here so that it doesn't have that dip. Yeah, much better. And then I'll just smooth that out. And that actually doesn't look too terrible, but nice. So now that's connected up. So now we can build a new line on here from Retford Station up here to Ashby. And then let's just make this so that we don't conflict with colors. I'll make that like a blue. And we're having these guys wait for full loads for 60 seconds on these trains. So we'll do that as well. So 60 seconds. Perfect. And now this is going to be a rail line from Retford to Ashby. And now we need to set up a bus route in here. So I'm going to delete that. Let's see, how's the catchment on this station? So we'll probably need a pair of stops down here, I would guess. So if we kind of put one... Actually, it looks like we can kind of get away with just one. And I'm going to make this that red color. Let's see, which one? Which one? That one. Um, and this is going to be a bus route, and this is going to be the Ashby bus to train. And now I can delete this line. Oh, I have to get rid of the vehicles first. So I can sell all of these and then delete this line altogether. And now we just need to get some stops on here. And I don't think I need to delete that because I think I have trams using it. Yep, I do. And are these guys kind of splitting up? Kind of. Okay. So now I need to get some trams on here. So why don't I put in a road depot somewhere in here. This looks pretty industrial over here. So I'll spin this around and just sneak it in right there. And I think we got new vehicles. So if I go into passenger, yeah, we got these Mac, these uh, Mac buses. So why don't I get two on there? Awesome. And now I need to get some trains onto this line, which means I'm probably going to need a new siding. So what does the terrain look like over here? Really nice. Yeah, I can definitely fit a siding in here. So why don't I kind of line it up with this road over here? So we'll get it to go straight out. And I'll curve it in there. And then we're going to want another siding so that we can add in our new trains. And then I just need to merge that in. And now we're going to need a non-one-way signal here. And let's figure out what we want on here. I'll probably go with a general just to start. And maybe four of these cars and we'll get that on this on this Retford Ashby line and now we should see people starting to uh, take this train as the main transportation yep man look at how many people want to go up to Dudley and how many people want to go to Honiton that's that's pretty wild 
So if we... Let's see. We got a bunch of new stuff. So let's see what we can do here. So if I work on these. These can go 50 miles an hour. And currently we have this mogul on here that can go 47. So... Unless we want to go up to the 10-wheeler, we really have to stick with these. But why don't I add another car onto both of those trains? And we'll just come over here and add on a couple, a couple of these cars. So if we come all the way down here, this is what we need. So we'll just add one more of those onto there. And then I'm thinking I'll probably add on another passenger car onto these lines. Although they're not getting maxed out there, but they're easily getting maxed out here. So yeah, why don't we do that? So I'll add one more car onto both of these as well. So now if we come over here... Because remember, that this siding is where these uh, passenger cars are coming from. So if we just come all the way down here to this passenger car, we'll go ahead and add one more on to each of those. Perfect. So now we've got a bit more capacity on these, and now let's see how, how, is, how are these trains doing. So spending more to more Campbell, these trains have 42 capacity, and they just left 41 on that platform. 56 up here, 50 up here, yeah, so this can definitely use another car. So we'll add one more onto there. And then we just need to come over to this siding where we actually never added any. So th these are gonna need four, like that, perfect. Looking good. All right, and that's a, that's a great suggestion from Craig. Um, and he's definitely, he definitely, excuse me. He definitely had a lot of uh, good suggestions there. So now another thing that I wanted to do is I really want to get ferries working. And if we come up here and we look at this, so this is coming back with three, there's five waiting. Uh, there's two waiting down here. Like that's just not working very well. One place that I almost guarantee will work is right here. Saffron to Warminster. I really just want to get a little ferry here uh, just to try and get a ferry to work. Uh, if, if for no other reason than, you know, purely just to get one to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in just right here just to bounce back and forth. So we'll get rid of that. And now we need to add in a road here on each of these. So we'll put that in there. I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit further. Line it up. And then we're just gonna put that right back in where that was. And then I'm gonna pull this out here connect that in there so we can circulate. And then I'll probably even connect that in here. So I just need to put a little spur off there. And then we should be able to curve that in. Just like that. It's a little bit more of a curve than I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a spur right like that. And now when we curve these, it should be a little bit more gentle. Nice. So now we also need to put a road in here. So I'll put that road in like that. And then I'll pull this out to about there. And then we'll attach that. And then this road, I might have this one curve like gently up like that. And just go straight over. bring that in there cool and now these are going to need large landings so we'll add one on there 
And then we need to come over here and do the same thing. So we need a large landing. Get rid of that one. Put a large landing there. And now let's set up this bus network. And I think I'm going to kind of curve this around and then curve that in. Just so that we can try and get a nice circulator going. So I'll put that stop there. It's got pretty good catchment. So we're going to need a stop. Could probably get away with a stop here. Maybe here. Yeah. And now let's set up a new line that's just going to bounce between these. And now this is going to be... What town are we in? Warminster. So this is going to be a bus and it's going to be Warminster bus to ferry. And now we need to get a depot on here. So this looks like our industrial area right here. So I'm going to swing this around. Just put that in right there. And now let's go ahead and get probably just one Mac on there for now. And now similarly, we're going to need bus stops here. Let's see, can I catch this whole thing? I pretty much can, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and circulate there. And now this is going to be a bus route, and this is Saffron, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, Saffron Walden. So I'll just call this Saffron Bus to Ferry. And now similarly, we need to get a depot in here. This looks like our industrial area, and it looks like I can squeeze one in, like, right here. So if I could just get that right there. Nice. And now let's go ahead and get just one to start. And now we're going to need a line from Saffron right up here to Warminster. And I definitely want these to wait for full loads for maybe 90 seconds. For these ships and now this is going to be a ferry from saffron to warminster and now we need to get a depot in here somewhere some some way somehow and i could probably put it in like right here honestly Try and line that up right there. That looks really good. And now I'm going full send with the Klondike. And let's just see. Let's just see if it'll work. Um, I'm really hoping it will. And you know what? Just to double down, I'm going to get another... I'm going to get another bus on here onto each of these. Hopefully these can get some passengers down here to use this ferry. I don't know though. We'll see. But we're just going to let that ride for a little bit. And we're going to see how that goes. The, the big thing that I wanted to do today is super ambitious. I want to sh get this oil sand from here all the way up here. And I think I'm going to do it with a rail line running all the way from here and i really don't know how i'm gonna do this i'm kind of just gonna plan it as i go uh, but one thing that i know that i'm gonna do is i'm going to use a 320 meter cargo platform so just trying to figure out where i want to go that actually lines up really well right there so I'm gonna put that in there and now hopefully this is in catchment it is perfect so we got 320 meter trains to work with and I'm thinking I'm gonna run like right along these islands kind of bounce between here probably cut right across this road come down the coast here 
get onto this track. So I'm gonna make this bridge even bigger. We'll branch off right here, come around this timber, across this island, and right into here somehow. Somehow, some way. So I'm gonna get rid of this road because it's just gonna be in our way for now. And I just need to kind of figure out how we can lay this station in here. So I think if I put it in kind of like that, I think I should be able to get this in catchment pretty easily. And as I say that, it's not its not perfectly lined up, but I think we can make it work. Um, and I'm just trying to think of what would look, what would look good. So if I do that, and then I can kind of just curve that in there, and then I can kind of fill this area in with some decoration. And uh, I should be able to make this look pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of smooth this terrain out bit. It's a little aggressive. But this is going to easily be our longest rail line. Um, and just to start, I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to double up this whole bridge because this is now going to be a pretty massive, uh, ridge running across here so we'll just connect that all together and we'll just let that run and now I'll probably tie in right here yeah so this is gonna come across like this Gonna pull this right over there, turning this into an enormous bridge. And then I'll probably branch it off like right there. And now I wanna come straight through here. I wanna try and get this as close as I can. So that's straight across right there. So what I might do is just give this a slight curve here. So that when I pull this straight across, it will line up with this bridge a little bit better. It's gonna have to slow down a little bit, uh, but I can try and minimize that by kind of just dragging this back yeah, 75 miles an hour. That's awesome. Great. So now that's connected in here. This is now a giant bridge. And now this is probably where I'm going to branch this off and run it down the coast here. And cut right across here. So if I go like that, I just need to play with the heights a little bit to get this to work. So I want to come like that. And it doesn't like that. So I'm just going to back that out just a little bit. See if I can get this to bridge. can it's got a little bit of a little bit of a bow to it Let's see if I can bring that down so I can get that to the to there I'm okay with that now let's see this is gonna run right down here 
let's see, I want this to kind of run right along here. So if I put this in, oh, we just got a new train. That's probably what we're gonna use for our beast of a 300 meter train. So I need to connect in over there. So if I kind of curve this around like that, and then connect that in there. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna back this out all the way. And I'm gonna connect this in and see if I can make this work. Okay, so that's what it wants to do. I'm just using Shift M and N to fiddle with the height just a little bit to make that work. So that's what it wants to do. It looks pretty good. That's gonna need to obviously be cleaned up. But that looks really good running through here. And rather than adjusting this track to fit this road, I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna run this track through here. Just kind of line that up to where I want it to go. And now I'll go ahead and put this road back in. Cool. So that looks really good now. We've got this bridge running over there. So now let's finish working on this track right here. And I'm gonna have it run right out to there. And then we're gonna come right down this coast. Just gonna back this up a little bit. So that I can kind of curve right along this coastline. Come right through here. And now the question is, do I want to just bridge right across here? And I think he, the answer is yes. So I'm gonna kind of curve up here. Come to like right there. Curve that around. And now I'm going to delete some of this out because it's doing some stuff with the terrain heights. So I just want to try and get this as smooth as it can be. And now we'll come across here and that's a little sharp. That's a little sharper than I would want it. So let's see if I come to like right there. And now I come straight off. Let's see, what would it want to do if I took it all the way to there? That's okay with me. So that looks pretty good, although it's sloping downhill, which I don't love. So I'm just gonna take this all out. And I'm gonna see if I back this all the way back here, like that, and now I grab from here. Yeah, that looks much better. So we'll go with that. So now that's all set up, and now it runs all the way to here, and now I just need to connect it in here, and then we're home free. So if I bring this kind of straight over here, that's where I need to get to. So if I connect that in like that, Oh boy, and that is a disaster actually. Because we just interrupted, we just broke our steel train. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this portion out. Probably out to there. And I'm going to get a track. I'm gonna connect these together and I'm gonna switch this now. This is gonna be our first steel bridge. Or do I want to do stone? How high can I get the stone? I'm just trying to see if I can 
get this to bridge itself up and over. Because I can't really... Well, I can do it with the wood. But that just kind of looks ridiculous. So what if I go with this steel girder bridge? Let's get that just slightly high enough to get itself up and over. I don't know. I don't know if this is what I want to do. I could go with the stone. I don't love the stone. I'm yeah, I'll go with the I'll go with the steel. I just want to get it. Let's see. I just want to get it as low as possible just to open that up a little bit. And now we'll connect that in. And now I'm gonna back this out a little bit to get that to be a little bit smoother of an incline. Let's see if I can do the same over here. Nope. Can't. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit of this land out. Like that. And I'll connect that in, and then we'll we'll clean that up, obviously. But now, if we come into our lines, that fix our shipping line. So now, if I let this run, perfect. So now let's set up this new lines. So this is going to be saffron all the way up to Ridge House Oil Sand. So this is going to be a rail line. It's going to be saffron to bridge house oil sand perfect and that purple do i like that purple i might go with just a little bit darker purple um but at saffron wait for full load for 120 seconds it should never really be an issue um but now here we're just going to deliver this fuel right here right into uh right into Bridge House. So we're going to need to get a station in here, or, or a uh, truck stop. And we'll do a 30 meter truck stop. And then we'll obviously come in, in, come in here and edit it. Um, and because this is oil sand, this is also going to produce sand as a byproduct. Um, and that will allow us to use one of our specialty construction material facilities Just smooth this out a little bit awesome so now we've got 320 meters worth of train that we can play with here um and before i start doubling all this up i'm just gonna get one train on to start and i'm going to need a siding in here so i think i could probably put it in yeah right here so if i come in here with a siding or a, uh, sorry, a whatever this is called. And I'll probably put that in like right there. And now we'll get a track running straight out. I'm going to make this a really big siding. Just because we're going to need it. We're going to need the, uh, the capacity, obviously. And then I'll run this track right up the side. Right to there. And then we'll bend that in. And now we're going to need a non-one-way signal right here. So now let's come in here and let's get a let's get a monster on this. So, let's see. Cargo. We've got the new stuff. So we're going to be moving oil sand. So we're going to need these flat cars with side stakes. They can go 50 miles an hour. So what do we got? 10 wheeler. Let's do it. Just for that tractive effort. Look at that. 60 more tractive effort. I'll take that all day. And now we need flat cars with side stakes and we can go up to 320 meters. 
So we'll go up to 316. That technically is a poor performance. So why don't we go to 281? There we go. And this is going to be a beast. And I just want to make sure that I use the right, yeah, oil sand. Perfect. Awesome. So while that gets going, let's set up this delivery in here. So we're going to need a truck stop in here to deliver this fuel. And I'll probably have him drop it like right there. So we'll just come in here. We'll make this orange. And we'll have these guys wait for full load forever. And this is just going to be a truck route. And this is going to be bridge house fuel. Just like that. And now we need to get a road depot in here. So if we come down here, this area generally looks like our industrial, but I think rather than put it in up there, I'm going to put it in down here. Can I fit it in right here? Can, I don't really like that intersection. So I can put it in here like that. That's not bad. And now let's get some of these steam-powered vehicles on here. Maybe we'll get two. And we'll put those onto there. And now I want to fix this road. So now if we come into here... I'm just going to curve that up and then curve that in. Just like that. Awesome, so that is a monster line with our first steel bridge, which is really cool. And this, yeah, it's starting to put a ton of supply on there. What is the capacity of this train? 264. Yeah, so this should have no problem filling that, which is great. And then this is a really long, really long line. Probably the longest single rail line that I've ever made in this game, possibly, uh, which is cool. I'm really excited to see how much money it gets paid. So let's see how this ferry's doing. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's easily our best ferry thus far. These buses are doing decently well. All right, cool. So I think we're coming to a pretty good stopping point for the stuff that we wanted to do. And uh, as always, guys, you know that I'm having a ton of fun making this series. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's a great time. Let's see, how are these trains doing? 42. They left some on there. So there's 42 wanting to go down to Coinsboro. How many wanting to go up? 35. Yeah, I think it's got good capacity for now. And then is anybody using this ferry? We've got two people there. We got three people coming back. That's terrible. But it is what it is. But okay. All right, guys. Um, this is probably going to bring us to the end of the episode. We will uh, find a good line to go for a ride on. Uh, maybe one of the, the lines that I just decorated. Maybe this... Uh, oil sand rail line over here uh that's a pretty good line and you know as always like and comment uh let me know how i'm doing uh anything you want me to try i love getting the comments uh with tips and tricks and you know different ways of doing things that i just haven't thought of um and you know subscribe for more videos i'm gonna keep them coming now at a regular regular interval now that i'm back and you know i hope you guys have a good time and i'll see you in the next video so thanks.